Hi everybody. Today I'm going to cook black eyed peas. You know the, this black eyed peas. I have 250 gram. I have tomato. I put this in mixture to make tomato sauce. I have one onion, salt, black pepper, and a soup, chicken soup. I have water in a pan. In this pan, I put the black eyed peas, water. I put this on the fire for five minutes. Then I cover it and turn off the fire. Again, I put this on the fire on a high heat for five minutes, just five minutes. Then I turn off the fire and cover it for two hours. Then I complete the sip. It's now on high heat for five minutes. After five minutes, I turn off the fire and cover the pan for two hours. Now after two hours, I put uh, the black eyed peas in a tuner, and now I put a spoon of butter. And the fried chopped onion. Now I put tomato sauce. I add salt, black pepper. Then I add black eyed uh, peas. Next, I add the soup. I cover the pan and let them together for 30 minutes. Then it will be ready to eat. This is a black eyed is Etia. It's very nice and delicious and it's very easy recipe. I hope you try doing it. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn the Cooking. Today I'm going to do the kini or I'm going to make curgates. I have one onion, chopped onion, one cup of uh, soup, any soup you have, uh, Two tablespoons of tomato sauce I do at home, uh, salt, black pepper, and uh, coriander, and uh, 20, 250 grams of uh, zucchini. I have a tray like this. It's a simple way and the healthy way. I put the zucchini. 
in the tray. Then I got the onions. Tomato sauce. The spicy salt, black pepper, coriander. Then I put the soup. I can add a cup of water. I put it in the oven for about one hour. You can see it if the uh, if the water dried, you can add another cup of water until it's well done. I put it in the oven for one hour, then I come again to see you at, at the end. I hope you try doing this. This is a tray of the zucchini or courgettes at the, in the oven. I hope you try dying it. It's very delicious and very healthy. Uh, no fats in it. I hope you try doing it and I hope you're watching the video. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinions about it. Thank you. Hello everybody and I'm to learn the cooking. Today I'm going to learn you how to make a cucumber in the The ingredients I have. Cucumber at the end. 
you can find to so delicious. I hope you enjoy watching this video. It's a very healthy recipe. You can find a lot of uh, healthy, different in this recipe. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell. Welcome, my audience, in our channel Learn Cooking. Today, we'll do a new recipe how to make dry meat or pastrama in uh, at home. The ingredients for the first step is hard salt or tough salt and a piece of meat and some tissues. First I get a piece of meat. Uh, it's clean, no fats in the meat. I put some tissues in the dish like this. And put some uh, some salt, tough salt on the piece of meat from two sides. As you're following me, so delicious, dried meat, so delicious, and then cover it with tissues, tissues without any smell, and bought something like this. Then put a heavy thing on it, a heavy thing on the meat. Then put it in the fridge for 24, 24 hours, one day in the fridge. And at the same time, tomorrow I will complete the video. After one day, after 24 hours, I get out the piece of meat from the fridge. You can notice that the tissues all completely have the, the blood of the meat. The blood of the meat were on the tissues. You can notice that the meat has uh, dried and it's not completely dried. So I will hang the meat in the fridge. I will hang the meat in the fridge. I give needle, I have needle and put string, strong string in the middle and I put the needle here. Then I hang the piece of meat in the fridge for, uh, for another one day. Yes, I hang it in the fridge. After one day, after 24 hours, I come again and I will put the spices on the meat and I will complete uh, the dried meat. After one day in the fridge, we get out the piece of meat and it's dried. We have some spices to complete and make dried meat. Uh, it's a cold pastrum. The other spices we add garlic, green pepper, and small small uh, spoon of salt, black pepper, lantern seed, paprika, coriander, and the nutmeg, and fun grick, fun grick. And two small spoons of oil and two spoon spoon small of water. We mix all the ingredients and all the spices in the mixer, and we put the mixture on the meat. I will put uh, the spices in the mixture and I come back again. After I mix the ingredients, all ingredients, spices, and green pepper and garlic together. I put all 
the mixture on the meat. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and subscribing the channel. And write what's your opinion on the video. Pasterma is very delicious. It's dried meat. And I will hang it for seven days in the fridge. You can follow me. I cover the meat with a mixture from all sides. Finally, I hang it, the meat in the fridge for seven days and I will come again to tell you or show you how it pick up. After one week, the pasterma has been dried. Uh, you can uh, cut now into the small slices. Uh, I will cut the, the pasterma and I come again to show you at the end. At the end, I cut pasterma or dried meat into small uh, into slices you can see I cut it into slice now it's ready to use at any uh, receipt if you like the video please subscribe the channel if you have any comments please write it to me thank you and goodbye hello everybody in our channel learn cooking today I'm going to cook a green peas uh, or string beans. I have string beans like this. I cut it from two sides from here and from the other side from two sides. I cut them from two sides then from the other sides like this. Then I cut them into pieces. I cut them into small pieces like this. As you can follow me. Then I wash them in the water. I wash them in the water. I cut them. Yes, like this. Then I have chopped onion, a bowl of soup, salt, black pepper, tomato sauce. I bought a spoon platter in the pan to fry the onion. Make a side for the onion. Next, I put tomato sauce. Z 
then I bought the strength pins. Finally, I add the soup. I cover the strained beans with the soup. If you want to add uh, a lot of uh, uh, tomato sauce, you can add it. I leave it for about 30 minutes, then I show you a beans at the end with tomato sauce. It's very delicious and very useful for our health. I hope you tried doing this recipe. And tell me your opinion uh, in a comment. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and please activate the bell icon. And I hope you uh, tell me your opinions about the other videos in the channel. Thank you. Hello, everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to do mouche. You know that the, this are the leaves of mouche. I have a cup of soup, garlic, and one tablespoon of butter. I take this uh, mojaya and put them in the mixer or blender for seconds, for 30 seconds, just one uh, round to be little pieces, to become little pieces. I put it in the uh, mixer. Then I come now. I boil. I put the, the soup on the fire to boil, and I put a piece of butter in the fry pan. I put the garlic. Now the soup is boiling. I put mojaya. When the garlic become brown, It's okay now, the garlic, I bought some potato chips. I turn out the fire, then I put them in the pot. Now it's ready to eat. This, this is a molokhaya soup at the end. I hope you try doing it. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and tell me your opinion about it. Please activate the bell icon and tell me your opinions about the videos in the channel. There are a lot of videos, different kinds of food, bakeries, and juice. Thank you. Welcome everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today we'll do an, a kind of vegetables which is sponge. Sponge has, uh, which is very useful. Uh, we can do it, the ingredients, 
uh, one onion cutting into small pieces, one big spoon of butter, salt, uh, tomato sauce, soup, chicken soup or meat soup, and sponge. I cut it into pieces. I wash it well and I cut it. I bought the butter in the pan. Then I put the onion. After the color of the onion changes, after it becomes brown, I put the tomato sauce. Then I put the salt. Next I put the sponge. I stir the ingredients together. And leave it on a low cooking flame for 10 minutes without any water. Now I put the soup. After 10 minutes I put the soup. Now the dish of spinach is ready to eat. I finished it. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, please write it. I hope you enjoy watching the video and telling me your opinion about it. Thank you. Hello everyone in our channel Learn the Cooking. Today we'll do an, a kind of vegetables which is tar. It's very useful. I will do taro as you can see it I have soup butter garlic this is sisal or chart uh, I cut it into small pieces it's a kind of uh, green leaves uh, I cut it into small pieces and I bought it in the mixer I cut the, the taro into cubes, small cubes. I wash it with water three times and the soup is on the fire. When it's boiling, I put the taro in it. boiling. Now, I put the taro for 30 minutes until it dwells up. After 30 minutes, I'll come again. After 30 minutes, I put the butter in a tray. I put the garlic and the tomato. I fry them. On a low fire. Now the taro is well done after 30 minutes.
you like the video, please subscribe the channel. This is the green tarot. Now, I bought this mixture on the third. You can see it's climbing. As you follow me, I leave the mixture, the tarot with the green leaves in for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I come again. This is the tarot at the end. You can see it's well done. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel. If you have any comments, write it. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to do a simple receipt. Uh, I'm going to do Suzuki in on the fire, on the cooker, uh, or I'm going to make uh, corgates. I have 250 grams of corgates, 3 tablespoons of uh, tomato sauce, uh, a bowl of soup, 1 onion chopped, chopped the onion, salt and black pepper. First I put a tablespoon of butter. Then I add chopped onions. Now it's a fried, head a brown color. Then I add tomato sauce. And the spices, salt, black pepper. Next, I add the soup. And I set a bowl of water. Then I add the corgate of soup. I cover the bag for about 30 minutes, then I come again to show you it in the end. This is the dish of uh, courgette at the end with tomato sauce. I hope you try doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. It is so so delicious uh, and very healthy. I, uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Tell me your opinion about it. Thank you. Hello, everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today, we'll get you a new recipe how to make okra with meat and tomatoes or tomato sauce. I have a kilo of okra, kilo of meat, a tomato, will put it in the mixer and make it a uh, tomato sauce. We have garlic, salt, same, black pepper, and green pepper. First, I put the pan on the fire, put the meat, and 
I got it from Alohi. I bought it for a little piece for 10 minutes then I come again after the meat has the chuck I put the black pepper at the seam and they leave the meat on a low heat for 10 minutes. You can see after the meat has this color, I put the garlic, I cut the garlic in small pieces, I put it, and leave it until it changes the color. After garlic, I put the tomato sauce, and the okra. Then I add some water and leave it on a high heat. I cover the bag and leave it for one hour and then I come back again. Now when the okra is boiling, I add the green pepper. I cut it into two pieces and bought it. After an hour, I put the salt to the okra and the meat and say if this uh, okra is well done. Now after one hour, the okra with the meat is uh, is well done. It's ready to eat. If you like the video, subscribe the channel. I hope you enjoy watching the video and try doing it. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn the Cooking. Today I'm going to learn you how to make beef meat with vegetables. I have uh, uh, several types of vegetables. I have carrots, peas potato, green pepper, tomato, onion. I cut them into uh, slices. I have salt, black pepper and coriander. Uh, also I have a cup of water. First of all, I chopped all the, ing uh, the ingredients, so I chopped all the vegetables. Uh, first, and clean them up. First I put meat, beef, in a pan like this then I put some of these spices then I bought all the vegetables that I have I put potato carrots peas I, I chopped the green pepper I put the onion It's very delicious and healthy food I chopped the tomato Then I bought uh, the spices Then add I bought another cow food here.
to cover the vegetables. Now I bottled them on a high uh, fire for about 30 minutes or until it become all done. This is a uh, beef with the vegetable at the end. It's very very delicious and healthy. I hope you try doing this recipe and I hope you watch all the videos in the channel and you will learn a lot from this. I hope you enjoy watching this video and subscribe in the channel. Uh, please activate the bell icon to know that I upload a new video. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn to Cook. Today I'm going to cook zucchini with meat. I have one chopped onion. I peel the zucchini and cut into slices and wash it very well. I have tomato sauce. I have pieces of meat or beef, salt and black pepper. In a pan on the cooker, On a low heat, I put the pieces of meat. On a low heat. With the onion. the black pepper with it. I leave it for uh, five minutes on the low heat. <coughs> now after the meat and Onion become the brown color. I add the tomato sauce. Then I add zucchini. With a cup of water. I cover the bean for about 30 minutes. And then I show this zucchini as yeah. When the water dry, I can add more water until the beef becomes well done. When the zucchini with meat is boiling on the fire, I bought a spoon of salt. And now it's ready to eat. It's a very nice and yummy uh, vegetables. I hope you try doing this recipe. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and activate the bell icon. I hope you tell me your opinion. I wait your opinion and your comments on this video. Thank you. Hello everybody in our channel Learn Cooking. Today I'm going to cook zucchini with meat in the oven. I have a piece of onion, a tomato sauce, I clean the zucchini into slices and cut it. I have a piece of meat, I wash it very well. Salt, black pepper. In a pottery pan or foot, I put this piece of meat. I put some salt, some green pepper, uh, black pepper. I put the ingredients I put the onion tomato sauce I add a cup of water for this ingredients. I put them in th this uh, pottery, put in the oven for about 30 minutes uh, until the meat become well done. Then I show this 
bought three eggs. Yeah. This is the zucchini with meat at the end. If I put a spoon in the meat or beef, you can find well done. I hope you try doing this recipe. I hope you enjoy watching this video. It's a very nice and easy recipe. And it has a very useful uh, ingredients. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell icon. Thank you.